Getting your car repaired can be expensive and inconvenient. You might have to bum rides for a couple of days while your car is in the shop. That is unless you go to one Oakland County repair shop. Oh, it will still be expensive, but your car won't be ready. Problem solver Rob Wilczek is going to put a wrench in this repairman's game with his Hall of Shame investigation. Yo, know, Monica, this business had a really good reputation. The reviews online were all positive. What customers didn't know was the original owner closed up and a new owner took over. And this new mechanic is a real tool. I'm gonna take you on a tiger hunt. There is nothing in there. This guy is bailed out. Tiger's his name, fixing foreign cars is supposed to be his game. At that point, he had my car with the engine out, and I had nothing to do with the car was taken hostage for all intents and purposes. This cranky cat named Tiger sure worked slow. If I was told it would take about two days. Two days for two years. I gave it to German Motor Works on June 1st. Um, what year? 2018. Catching Tiger, who seems to move from place to place to place, is a real cat and mouse game. So are you opening another shop? No. You're not? No. So what, where are you working out of now? I'm not working right now. His name may be Tiger, but he's a lion. This is Richard. Richard needed repairs on his BMW. He went to German Motor Works on Dixie Highway in Waterford. When did you take it in? October of 2018. And you don't have the car now? I don't have the car. I have no idea even where it is. Richard says Tiger, the shop's owner, would fix one thing and charge Richard, then add another thing that needed to be fixed before he could take the car, and on and on until Richard had coughed up close to six grand and never got the car back. After a zillion promises from Tiger, Richard finally sued. Yeah, I uh, have won the court case, but I have not been able to collect on it because I don't even know where his business is right now. Yeah, the signs are still up here, but Tiger and his team are gone. I feel embarrassed to even give the true story because it sounds like I, I'm just, you know, some easy mark. Don't be embarrassed because Tiger's had this guy's car even longer. Matthew took his Audi A5 to German Motor Works to repair a broken timing chain. He paid Tiger four grand and picked up his supposedly repaired car. But there I am the next day on the side of the road. Yeah, it was still broken. He had it towed to Tiger. Since that day, I have not driven the car. I have not heard the car run. I've seen it. He's had it in his possession the whole time. This was Matthew's only set of wheels, and he has car payments on the Audi. So I got $400 a month going out every month for a vehicle that I don't use or have. Or I, I, and I had to go buy another vehicle. Now he's got two car payments and two insurance payments. It makes me sick. How much money did you give him all together? $1,400. And your car's still not fixed? No. Yeah, at least Andrea has her car back. That's it, broken down and covered with snow in her driveway. Last summer, Andrea had transmission problems, so she took the car to the Dixie Highway shop. A few days later, Tiger told her the car was fixed. She paid Tiger, but her car sure wasn't purring like a kitten. I pulled out of the shop, and the car wasn't shifting immediately. She took it back to the shop, and it took months before she got it back. In that time, German Motor Works had moved to a different location in Clarkston. Andrea went there and picked up her supposedly fixed bug. It was slipping in and out of gears, and it... It was scary to drive. She took the car back to the shop where it sat until December. She finally got her car back, but it's still busted. She filed a complaint with the Better Business Bureau, a complaint Tiger never responded to. But that ain't nothing. Tiger's had problems for a long time. Real name, Nemer Barricat. He pled guilty to licensing and record-keeping violations when he was running a shop in Wayne County, selling cars without a license. He's been sued and lost a few times, and just last month, according to the Secretary of State, German Motor Works was fined $2,500 after a Bureau of Regulatory Services complaint investigation found they charged for repairs not performed, violated mechanic certification requirements, failed to reveal material fact to a customer, and had improper invoices. The business is on probation with the state right now. And when I put Tiger's real name into a Google search, up comes his mugshot on the Michigan Department of Corrections website. He pled guilty in December of 2017 to purchasing a gun without a license. And to be honest, that photo was all I have to go on because even though he told Matthew and Richard their cars were still being worked on at German Motor Works in Clarkston, when I get there, there's a four lease sign out front. There's no no vehicles in here, so I don't know where these guys' cars are. But I figure a leopard doesn't change its spots, and neither will Tiger. 
After a tip or two, we spot what looks like some fancy foreign cars being worked on out of this old boat business on Telegraph Road. The place is locked up tight, but there's guys and cars going in and out. And at quitting time, my cameraman zooms in. I think that guy in the red coat could be him with the red uh, second guy there. Middle guy? Yeah. Well, get some shots of them. I said to freeze frame to our victims, and they confirmed I got a tiger by the tail. The next day, Nemer Barricade, AKA Tiger, pulls a BMW out of the garage and takes off down Telegraph. And so do we. And there's the cat under the hood at a scrapyard on 8 Mile. Tiger. How you doing? Rob Walchuk from Fox 2. What happened to your shop up there in Clarkston? Mm, didn't work out. Didn't work out, so where are you at now? I'm not, I'm not working. Oh yeah, he's not working. He just must wear his German Motor Works cap and shirt and look under car hoods for fun. So Richard Cassell, you I'm, got his BMW 5? We're fixing it. Well, I, what's taking so long? It was just a hell of a job, that's all. I know, but you've had the cars for like a year and a half, each of those cars. It hasn't been a year and a half. Oh, I think it has. It hasn't. Oh, I got the receipts here. You want me to look at the dates? You sure you want me to do that? Because mm. I got them. I pull out Richard's discovery card payments to German Motor Works. October of 2018, he gave you 1200 then he gave you 15 then he gave you 13 then he gave you 2000 $6,000. Mm. He gave you more than a year ago, mm. and his motor turned out to be bad. That was a holdup, so we're fixing it for him. Next up, I tell him Andrea says her VW is worse than when she brought it to him. She ended up buying another car because she got tired of Ubering to work. I performed the work on the car, so if she had to buy a new car, it's not my responsibility if she had to buy well, a new car. Well, how long do you think these jobs should take? They're more complex kind of jobs. Cars do you and... have the skills to do it? Yes, I do. Next up, Matt, who's been fighting with Tiger over his Audi since June of 2018. Matthew said he was not very nice to you. Do you blame him for being no, mad? No. So why don't you? Why do you keep on promising these guys are going to get their cars and they don't get them? They'll get them very soon. Oh, poor Tiger. He leaves looking sad. But I guess I motivated him. That was last week. This week, Tiger delivers Matthew's car. So how long has it been? Today is day 633 uh, from the day I met Tiger and gave him my car. He said he didn't, it didn't have to come to this. And I said, I think it did have to come to this. I said, there, there, was, no other, there was no other dealing with him other than you know, getting you involved. Yeah, he would have never got it done. No. Nope. Yep. And that's what I told him. I said, if it wasn't for Rob, there's no way you're going to just all of a sudden in a week turn my car around when it's been this long. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a criminal. Tiger's no fan of mine, but his driver sure seems to be. Thanks, Rob. Keep up the good work, man. All right. Love you, man. All right. See you later. <laughs> man, that's going to be a long ride home. Now that's how you tame a tiger. You're in the Hall of Shay. Looks like I've got a tiger by the tail. Tiger told me Richard, the guy with the BMW, will be getting his car later this week. I sure hope so. Remember, Richard brought his car in for repairs in 2018.